genocide, deportations of Ukrainian children, very much resemble also what Soviets did in Latvia, sending people to Siberia and killing them. New Latvian President Egers Rinkovich says his small country of 1.8 million, which borders Russia, knows too well what's at stake with Russia's war on Ukraine. As President Reagan used to call Soviet Union uh, evil empire, and I would say that very much applies also to modern Russia. If those guys are not stopped now, they will continue. Latvia being under Soviet rule for 50 years, you have a sizable Russian ethnic minority, you border Russia. Have you been concerned about any possible repercussions? It's a very good question. Maybe because of our history, we understand that this is bigger than Ukraine. This is actually about the world that we want to see being prosperous, at peace. At this week's NATO summit in Lithuania, 31 world leaders representing 1 billion people will address what's called the most dangerous and unpredictable security environment since the Cold War. NATO Secretary General pledged a multi-year support plan for Ukraine plus a controversial promise. I expect our leaders will reaffirm that Ukraine will become a member of NATO. Critics say Ukraine joining NATO would harden Russia's resolve, and they question past corruption in the Ukrainian government. President Biden, who's summit-bound, said Ukraine is not ready for NATO. President Rinkovich says this is a pivotal moment for world peace. Countries like China are watching, and if they feel it is possible to break international law, then international order is going to be challenged in other parts of the world. President Rinkovich was just inaugurated into his role Saturday after 12 years as Minister for Foreign Affairs. When you were a little boy, did you, is this something you dreamed of? When I was a little boy, Latvia was still under the Soviet occupation. To say, frankly, that I was dreaming to become president of Latvia, no. <laughs> I was dreaming to become a firefighter or police officer or somebody else, but not a president. He also makes history as the first openly gay head of state in the European Union and the second in the world. The implications of it, as I'm sure you understand, can't be overstated when there's young children who see someone in your position and maybe they feel more comfortable to be who they are. Dream and probably you will be able to break that glass ceiling.